hey 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 you guys i am back with another video and today's topic we are talking all about how to forgive yourself forgive yourself before it cripples your life so listen if that is a topic that interests you make sure you stick around make sure you check this video out right here subscribe and make sure you turn on your bell notification so that you won't miss another episode so i typically do videos every week we talk about on this channel self-care hygiene uh, motivation and a little bit of entrepreneurship so if any of those topics interest you make sure you keep on watching all right so today's topic we're talking all about how to forgive yourself so that it will not cripple you i hope you guys um week is starting off to a great week i'm wishing all of you well make sure you uh follow me over on instagram so that we can chat and let me know what other topics you would want me to do um as well listen you guys we are almost at 1000 subscribers and i'm so happy you guys um like i said you guys have been supporting me from day one i so appreciate you guys and just leave me a comment below and let me know what should our giveaway be because i want to do a big huge giveaway once we get 1000 subscribers and my four out four thousand watch hours you guys so let me know what you think i should do for a giveaway um so moving right along the first thing you need to do in order to forgive your step is stop playing god you are not god really literally once you make a mistake and you truly genuinely ask god to forgive you God does that right there. He don't wait. He don't put it off. He don't procrastinate. He forgives you right there. Pretty much forgets about it. But you and I, on the other hand, we like to hold on to it. We like to try to make ourselves pay. We like to try to be God and try to just do all. So, I mean, God, if I could write a book on forgiveness, I probably would write two novels because I learned this the hard way. I cannot try to go around and beat myself up for stuff I did or stuff that happened to me over 20 years ago. At some point, you have to get to a place where you let it go because it's only hurting you and you trying to play God and make yourself pay. It's not going to really do anybody no good, and especially yourself. And I'm going to leave a link to a video by Pastor R.C. Blakes. And he got a video out that says, forgive and move on with your life. Forgive yourself and move forward with your life. I'm going to leave the link in the cards here because you guys need to listen to that. Because when I listened to that, I think it was about a month or so ago, it really made sense to how I was treating myself all those years ago. It made sense that I was trying to play God. I can't do that. You know, I was trying to make myself pay for opening my big mouth for, I was trying to make myself pay for all the mistakes that I made in the past. Girl, that is draining. And it keeps you, it cripples you. It paralyzes you from being your absolute best because you're so afraid to try something different because you don't want to be hurt again. And then the second way on how you can forgive yourself is stop holding a grudge towards yourself. Okay, you made the mistake, but did you learn something from it? Did it help you to become a better person? That is what you need to focus on. Because if you learn something from it, all of it was worth it. Now, here's the thing on the flip side. If you didn't learn it, you're going to keep on making those same mistakes. And God will get your attention one way or other. If you keep making the same mistakes, keep finding yourself in the same situation, same types of relationship, it's because something you haven't learned. Because I'm telling you, when you learn that lesson, oh, honey, when it show its little ugly face up again, you will know what to do. You'll be like, mm-mm, not today. We, we, what we not going to do is this right here. Because you know what happened the last time. When you learn the lesson, and this is how you know you've learned the lesson. If that same incident or same thing come back around full circle, just say it was a, you had a, maybe you had a bad relationship or you had a divorce, a bad marriage. And in that marriage, you were treated poorly. 
we'll just say that. You were treated poorly. So when you start dating again, if those same types of issues start coming back up and you overlook them and you continue on with the relationship and things get out of hand, then you haven't learned the lesson. Because if you've learned the lessons from that previous relationship, if you've taken the time to heal, if you've taken the time to dissect that relationship and see why it didn't work and why you didn't see the red flags or why you did whatever the case may be, that is why you keep ending up with a different man, but same types of reactions because you haven't healed. It's almost like you got that hurt still on you. And so when you take it and dissect it for what it is, you ask God to heal you and, and don't allow people to make you speed up your process of healing because everybody healing process is different. You got to go and walk your own path. Stop allowing people to make you feel guilty because it's taking you a little longer than it took them. So what? Everybody's different. Everybody emotions and, and pain level is different. And it may take some a year or two. It may take you five years. But as long as you continue every day to do the work, that's all that matters. You cannot allow and cannot afford to hold grudges towards yourself because it's only going to hurt you. And then the next way on how you can forgive yourself so that it will not cripple you is um, take those valuable lessons and move forward. When you learn those lessons, now you got something. It's almost like it gives you extra confidence because when you learn what not to do and you start to do the things that you should do, it gives you a boost of confidence. I don't know about you, but when you truly start to forgive yourself, and you start to move on with your life, it gives you an extra pep in your step. Like you can walk with your shoulders back and your head held high because you know you are a child of God, because you know God is forgiving you, because you know you have truly forgiven yourself because you, you are doing better. The thing that you can do now is make wiser decisions. See, when I was in my 20s, I did some dumb stuff. I did some, I mean, I ain't gonna, I'm not even gonna say it was dumb because I only did what I knew how to do. And just like you, you didn't really do dumb stuff. You just did this stuff because you didn't know no better. And, and as the late Dr. Maya Angelou always says, well, you know better, you can do better. See, now that you know better, you can move forward knowing that if anything should pop up in any of those mistakes that you made in the past, you'll know what direction to go because you've been there, done that. So it's kind of like, you know how you, it's like you gain that, that valuable lesson badge of honor because now you got some things that you can teach somebody else. Why do you think I come on here and do these pep talks and girl talks with you guys? These are life lessons that I had to learn the hard way. These are things that I had to overcome. I can't teach you something that I haven't walked through because it's like, I don't really have no experience. I'm teaching you from my own life experience. And and when, and when just like you, you're sitting there right now, somebody else is going through the same thing that God has blessed you to overcome. But you can't help that next person because you're still holding on to grudges. And then the next thing is, um, after you've gotten those valuable lessons, play this scripture in your head all day long. Philippians 3.13, and this is um, that I forget those things behind. I'm, I'm just paraphrasing. Forgetting those things behind and I press towards the mark. That means you got to let go of the stuff in your past because you can't get to the blessing God has for you if you're still holding on with your fist tight with your past. You either going to have one or the other. You can't have both. You're going to either have to let the go, the past, or you can grab a hold to your future and move forward or you're going to stay stuck. Like you're not going to, you're not going to be worse, but you're not going to get any better either. It's like you're going to, your life is going to stay stagnant because you are still stuck in what happened to you yesterday. If you listen to people, you would think some things just happened yesterday or a few moments ago because they talk about it with so much conviction and passion and hurt like as if it happened yesterday because they haven't taken the time to heal. And I know that 
you know, a lot of times we don't want to go through the process because it's painful. You know, anytime you got to go through something and go back and revisit like childhood trauma, you know, a failed marriage or, um, you know, maybe you went through something like I did where you was misunderstood for a part of your life or, you know, whatever the case may be, you staying stuck there is not going to help God bring the blessings that he has for you. God has a great life for all of us. And I don't know about you, but I want it all. But I had to get to a place in my life where I forgive myself. Because when you truly forgive yourself, can't nobody else make you feel bad. Can't nobody else guilt trip you or make you feel less than. Because you know what? You say to yourself, you know what? Me and God, we already handled that. We've already taken the necessary steps to do better. I'm making wiser choices today. I'm doing better today. And that right there is assurance that, you know what, whether somebody else, and here's another thing that Pastor R.C. Blake said, you can't wait for other people to forgive you or or uh, get on the bandwagon that you've changed and all that, because they may not never do that. Because I know in my own life, people from my hometown, child, they could care less about what I'm doing great now, what things I've overcome. All they see is that young girl that had the bad reputation. All they see is that young girl that was misunderstood. That's all they see. And that's all they ever see. But you know what? I can't wait on them to see me for the woman I am today. I can't wait on them to forgive me. Hell, they ain't gonna never forgive me. They ain't gonna ever look at me differently. I can't wait on that. And, and whoever else is out there that see me one way. But I can't wait on them. And I couldn't wait on them because you might not ever get that. And you're going to sit there and hold the unforgiveness from yourself because of what somebody else may not get or they don't understand. Ain't for them to understand. Because I guarantee you nine times out of ten, them same people that's pointing their finger and talking about you and what you used to do and all that, they got the skeletons in their closet too. It's just they ain't put it out there. I was just brave enough to put my mess out there. And believe it or not, me sharing my testimony all these years have helped so many people. And if I leave today or tomorrow, I'm happy because I know I did what God wanted me to do. Because at the end of the day, I'm only one person. And I got to enjoy this life to the fullest. And if that takes me, you know, um, forgiving myself to move on so I can be happy, by all means, I'll take it. Alex, I'll take that for 500 Yes, I will do that. And just like you... You got to get to that place where enough is enough. Aren't you tired of making yourself feel bad? Aren't you tired of talking about yourself? Aren't you tired of not feeling less than? Aren't you tired of not feeling like you're good enough? I mean, you got to get to a place where you get tired of feeling stuck. Like, don't you want something better for your life? When you get to that place, you on your way to healing. And then my last and final tip is, you got to release that guilt and shame because I'm telling you, it will cripple you. It will paralyze you and you won't be able to move forward because it, 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 it paralyzed me, you guys. It paralyzed me for years. I wouldn't do anything. I played it safe all the time because I didn't want to be hurt again. I didn't want to put myself out there and be judged and criticized. And guess what? They still judged me. They still criticized me. So I might as well have been out there living my best life. You got to let that guilt go because I'm telling you, I heard a sermon years ago from Creflo Dollar. He was like, guilt is when you feel remorse. Now, if I got this wrong, it's the other way around. Guilt is when you feel bad, when you know that you did something wrong and you want to make it right. But that shame makes you feel like, you are nothing, like you are not a good person, like you are just nothing at all. Shame makes you feel like you ain't worthy of nothing. But if I got this wrong, you guys, I'm gonna flip it on the screen, but that guilt and shame will have you, it will have you so paralyzed, you'll be scared of your own shadow. And that's how I was. I was so afraid of my own shadow, I wouldn't even leave my apartment at times. I was so afraid to be around people because anytime somebody started laughing, I just knew they was talking about me. I mean, I was to the point where I was so afraid of my own shadow. Anytime I heard anything, I was jumping. 
And though I'm still a kind of a scary person, I'm not as scary as I used to be. I'm talking about I would be jumping for little stuff. I mean, if somebody looked at me funny or even gave me a mean look because, you know, I'm a real hyper energetic, happy-go-lucky type of person. I'm goofy and silly at heart. And that's how my personality is. But when I get around somebody with the wrong type of vibes or I look at, a, if I if I catch your eyes glancing at me and I glance at you and you give me like that mean look, I would probably go to the bathroom and ball out crying. And I don't even know the person. They don't even know me. But in my brain, because of how I had that guilt and shame still on me, I just knew they was talking about me. Or I knew they didn't want to, they wanted to do something bad to me. So all in all, you guys, you have to get to a place where you start that journey. And don't let anybody rush you on your process because I'm telling you, once you get it, you'll be able to go to peaceful, go to bed at night peaceful. You'll be able to be in your in the company of yourself and be happy. You'll be able to go places, enjoy your life, not looking around, trying to see who's looking at you or who's saying what, who whispered. That stuff is draining. So I know I've rambled enough, but I hope today's video bless you. I hope you have an amazing week. Remember to subscribe to this channel like this video, comment below what was one of your favorite tips that you could work on so that you can begin the process of healing yourself and forgiving yourself. Leave me a comment. Also follow me over on Instagram. Let me know um, how your day is going. Let me know if there's something I can assist you with and help you with. But in the meantime, remember you are absolutely enough. And everything that you need, it's already on the inside of you. So God bless and I'll see you soon. Bye.